Hello, I'm Hank Paulson. I direct the LBDA Research Center of Excellence at the University of Michigan. And my topic in this Louis brief today is COVID vaccination, something that is on all of our minds. The first question, of course, is should you get the vaccine? And the answer is yes. Unless you've had a severe reaction, allergic reaction to a prior vaccination of some sort, in which case you should definitely talk to your doctor, you should get this vaccine. Why do I say yes? Three major reasons. Number one, they're effective whether it's the Moderna, Pfizer, or the Johnson & Johnson vaccination, they've all been shown to be effective at reducing the risk of disease and particularly the risk of severe disease. Number two, they're safe. At this point on March 7th, 2021, roughly one in five Americans has received at least a dose of the vaccine, and there've been very few severe reactions. In older people, moreover, uh, reactions tend to be less severe in any case. And number three, we need this to protect us against this virus. COVID is not going away anytime soon. So get the virus vaccine for that purpose. Number two, how do you get it? Uh, in many of your cases, you may well have had your uh, health system give you an automatic notification because you're part of their system. Uh, that certainly was the case with me. I see patients and they gave me a notification back in January. I made an appointment and got the uh, vaccine shot. Um, Make sure that your medical record lists your uh, various conditions that increase your risk of COVID. That'll make you eligible sooner. In Michigan, starting tomorrow, individuals over age 50 who have a disability or a condition that increases your risk of COVID and dementia does increase your risk will be eligible. And on March 22nd, all people over age 50. As the vaccination delivery ramps up, and it certainly is, and I'm grateful for that, you may also want to put your name on the list at various major pharmaceutical chains or at your county health department website. Once you've gotten the vaccination, are you scot-free? Absolutely not. Yes, you will have developed immunity and that's a very good thing. Your risk of having severe infection is much, much lower, but you still have some risk of disease and of communicating the risk. Now, I'm sad to say that uh, CDC has not been very good about giving us specific do's and don'ts once we've been vaccinated, what we can do and what we can't do. What I would recommend for now is that you continue to wear a mask when you are in public settings with people. Uh, we've learned something very important from COVID, and that is that wearing masks and social distancing reduces not only COVID risk, but it reduces risk of other viruses. For example, the common garden variety flu is way down this year. Finally, if you or a person you care about has Lewy body dementia, should you or they get vaccinated? Absolutely, yes. Dementia increases risk of disease, of getting it, and of having severe disease. And particularly in the Black community, this is the case. So there's every reason for you to go ahead and get that vaccination. There are many more questions we haven't addressed today, like what is a vaccine? Uh, maybe another Louis Brief can educate, uh, educate us on that point. Uh, in the meantime, I encourage you to be well and get that vaccine, and I'll put my own mask on.